Hang on, guys. It's gonna go through an update as to where we're at with the trailer. Uh, so, made a few changes. I don't get too worried about the wiring. Everything. This is just temporary. So, got solar panel feeding in. So at the moment, I'm just testing it to see what the difference is. So this time I've gone with the energy solar controller. Um, those cheap ones were nasty and weren't really working properly. So never been for the last hour and a half been debugging a turned out to be a ground wire. Um, so I've got the, the output from the solar controller running the output on the box, the control box, um, seemed to have some ground interference from the inverter. So what I've ended up having to do is run ground just above um, the inverter. So it's bolted into steel frame. Um, and then I've got another ground for the battery to the steel, uh, to the, steel of the, the trailer. So yeah, that's where we're at with that one. Now this plywood is gonna continue on under here just to kind of cover that area. I'm gonna insulate that as well uh, in behind there because it is getting a bit hot. So also gonna insulate the roof and uh, plywood the roof as well. So, have installed kitchen slide. Well, it's not installed as yet. Um, I've still got it bolted in place. And then we're going to have storage tub underneath just for kitchen stuff um, at this stage. So, we did go back to chest fridge, there will be a chest, this is the one that's going to be in the fridge, uh, in the car, sorry. So we will end up having a completely different fridge here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, it'll really depend on the length, um, and obviously the, need to get a slide, so we've got plenty of space in here. The, the, water hosing at the here at the moment so we've got space between there so that's going to be boxed off to protect the water hosing um and the idea possibly running compressor just here next to the battery um, so that's the additional ground for the battery to the steel i've just got to find a spot to put that um so what we're having so with the inverter controller, so as I was turning it on, which it's still doing, so I've got to find the issue with that because there's nothing connected to that. Alright, so we'll go back to that. So I'm thinking may just end up doing away with the load um, from the MPPT and just run battery. Like the battery monitor itself has, with the smart shunt, has a, um, a low voltage disconnect. Same with the fridge, it's got a low voltage disconnect. But the only thing that I'm thinking now is that it's actually the, the load positive negative on that so I've just changed the um, location of the solar panel ground but I hadn't changed the location of the load so what I'll do is I'll undo the the load which seems to me that that's what it is uh, undo the ground and the load and the positive on the load and we'll, we'll see if it still trips all right so removed the load wiring from that um, inverter's on, hasn't tripped, so we'll turn it back on. Nothing, 
no tripping. So to me that is because of the load going from the uh, MPPT into this box. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a solution, whether we just run camp lights or whatever. All right, so we've figured out what the issue is. It's stupid rookie mistake. Um, so with the battery, positive, negative, on the MPPT, it turned out I was actually running the battery positive into the bus bar that had all the other positives, including the inverter positive, um, which was interfering and short circuiting the MPPT. So, I mean, all the negatives were there, but it's just the additional load um, wired up incorrectly. So that's been resolved now. So. All right, so if you couldn't already tell, we have relocated the batteries from the Pelican case that was under where this kitchen slide is. Um, bit of weight distribution and utilised that, that empty space that we had here anyway. Um, so that frees up a bit more space in the back. Yep. So still going to keep this slide here. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to put in that. It, it's it's too long to put this way um, and still have usable space here. Um, so, yeah, that was the easy solution. Put it on the side as storage. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a kitchen here. So the idea of I'm thinking maybe fill in this whole section and then microwave and shit, so yeah.